In our previous episodes, we've already shown that Wi-Fi can travel really far, up to five miles. And today, we're going to show a tool that uses Wi-Fi to allow you to hack a computer from blocks away. So stay tuned. The USB rubber ducky is a particularly famous hacker device, which when plugged into a computer looks like a USB flash drive, but acts as a keyboard. Now when the computer thinks it's a keyboard, it's allowed to run commands that ordinarily would be blocked by any sort of program because a user is trusted and keyboards are generally how we interact with the computer. So it's a really good way of attacking a computer you have temporary access to. Now, the USB rubber ducky is amazing, but it does have some drawbacks. And one of those drawbacks is you have to program it in advance. And if you don't know exactly what commands you want to run, this can be a serious problem because it's just a one-way device. It only goes in one direction. Now, the Wi-Fi duck made by Spacehoon, also known as Stefan Krumzer, is an incredible tool that bridges the gap by having Wi-Fi access, allowing you to access a web interface and control it from a distance. Now, we want to test out just how far this tool can go. So we want to plug it into a computer and then from an extreme distance, run payloads and see if we can do something pretty nasty, like embed a tracking script on a computer that's left unattended for only a couple moments. For our test today, we'll have a hacker plug in a Wi-Fi duck into a briefly unattended target laptop. From a distance, a second hacker will connect with a directional Wi-Fi antenna boasting a range of up to a mile and deploy the right script to exploit the operating system running on the target computer. After the hacker plants a backdoor using the Wi-Fi duck, it can be unplugged, and the hacker can control the victim laptop directly. To test these claims, we're going to need a couple of things. First, we'll need a D1 Mini and a Pro Micro, the two microcontrollers we'll be using to program this attack. We're going to solder these together on a circuit board to fit everything together nicely, although a breadboard should work too in a pinch. Next, we'll need a computer to program them. And for our attacker to trigger the script from a distance, we'll be using a simple Wi-Fi Yagi antenna connected to an alpha wireless network adapter. With a Wi-Fi duck for injecting keystrokes and the directional antenna for connecting to it remotely, we'll be testing the scenario today to find out if it's really possible for a pair of attackers to run commands from such an extreme distance. When the victim in our test scenario leaves their laptop unattended, the first attacker can send information to the second attacker about what script to run based on the laptop's operating system and anything else they notice about the system. After the first attacker plugs in the Wi-Fi duck, they can make a quick exit, minimizing their chances of being caught lingering around the laptop. The second attacker can now connect to the Wi-Fi duck using their long distance wireless network adapter. From a browser, the second attacker can write a script live or run a pre-recorded one. For our attack, we'll use a saved one to save time. With the back door installed and the attack complete, the rest of the attack will run in the background. The first attacker can now retrieve the Wi-Fi duck, leaving no obvious traces of the attack. Now that the victim's laptop has a persistent back door installed, the hacker can run truly damaging malware, like ransomware, spying tools, or or even worse. As our test was able to verify, a hacker could implant a Wi-Fi duck and send commands from a very long distance away. Now, in a business with a bunch of USB drives that might be in places that aren't frequently checked, a Wi-Fi duck could represent a serious security threat that might not be noticed for a substantial amount of time. If you want to check out the Wi-Fi duck, you can go to spacing.com and find out more about how to run this project. And if you want to find out more interesting resources, check out the Verona Security Podcast and other Verona's references to find out how we can keep your data secure.